So I'm just gonna take a minute and show you around the offices of Bruce Lee. This is Sydney <laughs> and Christina. As Sorry. you walk in, you are greeted by these lovely faces. This is our um, emblem as you walk in. This is our poster wall with all of uh, the films of my father and my brother and I've even got one up there. Alex, licensing. Tip the cap to you. <laughs> Chris, social media, store, content, fabulousness. Hello. The man who brings down the iron hammer. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> We do have a little gym here because it is Bruce Lee. So. Well, this is the conference room and the archive. We just sent um, over 500 items to Hong Kong. Um, we're opening an, a, a three year exhibit at the Hong Kong Heritage Museum July 19th. Uh, so if you can be in Hong Kong at any point over the next three years, <laughs> go check it out. Um, but this is where we keep all the writings, the photographs, the books, the memorabilia, all that kind of good stuff. We're doing stuff with um, the people at Raptor. It's a huge site, people play video games, and so we're doing a partnership with Raptor for the whole month of June. I mean, my father has been homaged in so many video games. And actually the video game space is one that we are wanting to enter into ourselves. Um, there have been a number of reasons why we haven't. Um, primarily that we didn't have the rights to do so up until fairly recently, about a year ago. And I think the reason that, you know, we feel like that would be successful for us is because my dad is a martial artist, action person who's made these phenomenal films. Video games are action packed. It seems like a no brainer, but you know, we want to do it right. We want to do something that is in line with the legacy and super entertaining. How cool would it be to play Bruce Lee, either be him or, you know, be in interaction with him in some way in a universe that is of his making? This is a shoe that Kobe Bryant did um, in uh, honor of my dad. Everybody loves the DJT, which is an awesome, awesome shirt that our licensee Bow and Arrow makes. I really love the figures. They're so well done, you know, all of these um, more lifelike ones. I think they're really cool. I find so much value in his words, in his actions, in the, in the example of his life. And so it's very important to me and touching to me that that still lives on and that people of that age group are finding it, are finding relevance in it, finding meaning in it. The whole reason that I do all of this is because of that, because I feel that there's relevance and inspiration to be had from his life and his words and his deeds. And if other people feel that way, especially young people who have their whole lives ahead of them to really shape their lives in a meaningful way, um, it's amazing to me. It's what it's all about. I don't really want my father to be about nostalgia. I want him to be relevant. The thing that is great and beautiful about him is his message will always be relevant. So if we can apply that to something contemporary, then it, it will continue to thrive. There have been times when I've thought about, actually there's some projects we've been working on that entail a young Bruce Lee where I, where I thought about Harry Shum as, yeah. as a great young Bruce Lee. Because um, obviously he's a dancer so he can move really well. and. Um, and, and even from a look standpoint, you know, he's a good looking uh, guy and um, and I think could could play him well. So he'd be, per yeah, he'd be a perfect one, yeah. yeah, now that I think about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very, yeah. He'd be very good for it. Yeah. That's a very good choice. I hope you can make that happen. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I would love, I mean, obviously all of the like, I love you dads aside and yeah, yeah, yeah. this is your granddaughter and you know, all that stuff aside. Um, 
I guess I would really want to know what he thinks of all this, you know? And if he, I think he would be thrilled that his legacy has lasted so long and he's become this person uh, who's thought of in so many wonderful, positive ways. Um, but uh, I guess the question would be, is there anything that you would like to see that you don't see now? Is there anything that we, that we forgot? Is there anything that needs more attention? Um, right. I would be really curious to know. <laughs>